Hey guys, what's going on? Matt O'Leary back with a quick video as we have good news for the New York Jets. They added an interior pass rusher. There we go. Finally, a position of need for the New York Jets. They are adding Quinton Jefferson, who played with the Seattle Seahawks last year. At this point in his career, he is a veteran. He is 30 years old. He spent uh, most of his career in Seattle from 2016 through 2019, bounced around in 2020 and 21. Spent 2021 with the Raiders and then went back to the Seattle Seahawks in 2022, where he had a really productive year and a limited role. He's not someone who's going to be an, an every down kind of kind of player, but an effective pass rusher from the interior. He's 6'4", 291 pounds. He had five and a half sacks last year, 13 quarterback hits and 18 pressures. He played 49% of the snaps for the Seattle Seahawks last season. He's pretty much, think of him as a Sheldon Rankins replacement. Uh, Sheldon Rankins was a part of that interior defensive line rotation for the New York Jets last year, and he was pretty much a prototypical, you know, uh, interior pass rusher. He wasn't great against the run, and don't expect Quentin Jefferson to be great against the run, but uh, they needed more juice on the interior. But uh, hey, this guy's put up you know, decent sack and pressure numbers. In 2021, he had four and a half sacks with Vegas and 25 pressures. So uh, is this someone who is going to be a, an absolute stud, a starter? There's no guarantee that he's going to be a starter on this Jets team, uh, but I would imagine that he's going to be a part of that rotation and they could still use someone who's a good prototypical run defender. Um, Sheldon uh, excuse me, Sheldon Rankins, like I said, was more of that pass rusher. Right now, their interior defensive line looks like this. You have Quinton Williams, Quinton Jefferson, Solomon Thomas, and Tanzel Smart. Still probably need to add more there. I would anticipate that it is a draft need as well. Does it have to be an early pick? Not necessarily, but they needed more depth at this position. And add a guy who has gotten some decent you know, sack numbers over the last couple of years. He has... 10 sacks in the last two years, an average of five sacks a year, you'll take that. You absolutely will take that. Um, and like I mentioned, and the biggest thing from for me on this one is that it was at a position of need. Uh, the Jets needed uh, significantly more depth there, and that's what you're getting from Quentin Jefferson. Don't expect the world to be lit on. Uh, he's not lighting the world on fire. He's not going to be a pro baller, an all pro, but they needed a veteran who could come in and fill a role, which is exactly what this is. It's not going to be very costly. It's a one-year deal. Uh, we don't, As of recording this, we don't have the terms on it, but don't expect it to be much. But that's it for me on this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Matt. I'll catch you next time.